But I got the Veritas in the mail, and it had some issues. First of all, it was shipped in this box from Lee Valley, which is it would normally be okay. But you can see that it suffered some damage in the shipping here and here. And um, they had it fairly well packed, the original box inside here. But what was strange is they shoved it to one side and, um, and then they pushed packing around it on this side rather than centering it and putting packing all around it, which would have really protected it. Uh, but luckily, no damage to the interior box. And as a collector, uh, people like to save um, the original box because it adds to the value later. I'm dead. Oh. So, uh, but I got the, the Veritas. It's huge. If you look at the difference in it, the weight is really great. But it had some issues as well that uh, were disappointing. It has some orange peel in the finish here, and it's got some gouges in here that were painted over afterwards, so it's not... Um, they, they must have known about it before they released it. Um, little things like that. I called Veritas and, um, about the issues that I had with it. And they were, uh, they didn't question anything at all. Actually, I called Lee Valley. And, um, and, and they immediately suggested that they send me a new one. And they'll send me the uh, replacement box to send that back to them with after I get the other one. So uh, I thought they were exceptional as far as customer service. So I have no complaints that way. Uh, I, I think that Veritas itself should have done something about these few issues in the finish Considering this is a very expensive plane, we're not talking about a hundred or two hundred dollars or even three hundred dollars with the uh, PMV blade. Um, so I think they should be a little more uh, conscious of what they're sending out for that kind of value, that kind of money. So the welcome to the shop again. Um, I have a, a little story to tell you guys. Um, as you know, in one of my other videos, I did a comparison of the uh, Lee Nielsen number no. 9 miter plane and the Stanley 62 low angle uh, plane with the adjustable throat, and I compared it to a, a Veritas uh, shooting plane that I had ordered from them specifically for the video and then hopefully to keep and, uh, and enjoy. Um, unfortunately, when I got the Veritas, it had some marks on it that, uh, uh, in the finish, that weren't very nice. It was from the clamping of it when they were milling the face, and uh, I considered that a second, or, or it definitely had an issue. Um, as most of you know, I'm not only a user of the planes, but a plane collector, and um, so to me, it's important that the quality of the plane that I'm buying new will uh, be without imperfections, uh, so that. Down the, down the line, years later, when I sell it or uh, uh, show it, it, it has none of those, uh, those little idiosyncrasies that make people wonder about it. I really wanted it to be a flawless plane. I did uh, give it a good rating as far as function and um, because it, it, it did a really nice job. And it, it didn't just do a great job as a shooting plane for end grain, but it also was a, a great design as far as the handle uh, mobility so that you could use it as a jack plane as well, or even uh, a smoothing plane uh, as I did use, uh, I did use it on uh, refurbishing uh, a wooden plane because it had a really nice wide base. So it, it went across most of the plane really nicely and gave me a good flat surface. So, I, uh, I brought up the issue uh, with Lee Valley. I called Lee Valley and talked to them about it. They were extremely nice. And I, and I did the video after I had already talked to the uh, first person uh, about the plane. And she assured me that they would send me one without the problem after. And, uh, and that I should just hold on to that one until I, I received it. That was great. It was a great response. I thought it was terrific. And uh, I praised them for it. Um, not too soon after I received the second plane and when I say not too soon after it was several months now this is totally attributable to uh, to COVID and the situation that we the whole world was in so I didn't uh, hold that against them in any fashion 
But uh, when I received it, I was so excited about opening the box and getting one that didn't have those problems. Well, I opened it up, and lo and behold, the second plane had exactly the same problems, only in a different area, slightly different. Um, but still, obviously, from cramping it or clamping it too tightly or, or the way they compressed it to hold it um, while they were milling the other surface. So, uh, so I called them up and, and explained that this was also unacceptable, but uh, now I had two planes. So, so uh, I, I spoke to a different person the next time about it. And uh, he assured me that uh, they would get me in another one, but it could take several months because they didn't have any um, uh, right there. And uh, it could take several months to uh, find me one and, and mail it to me. So uh, just hold on to those two planes at this point. And, um, and from there, they'll send me another one. And when I receive that one, that'll be fine. Now... When I ordered my first one, it was uh, October 19th was the order date, and I paid for it uh, on the 28th of October um, after, I guess, after they had shipped it. Um, so, but my MasterCard came through. The payment was uh, uh, 1028 of 2020. All good. Uh, trying my patience a little bit, but I, I, I you know, I'm, I, I'm, I wasn't in a rush. I had the other one to use if I needed to, and there was no problem with that, and they had assured me that if there was an issue in the end that they would honor their warranty and their warranty uh, uh, covered it completely. So it wasn't a problem. They would refund my money. But that's not what I wanted. I, I wanted the plane. Uh, I did like the plane. So uh, so I, I talked about this on two Zoom channels that I participate in, Bench Talk 101 and uh, Plane Talk. Uh, and I talked to different woodworkers and tool collectors and tool makers to make sure that I wasn't being too picky and maybe I should just accept it as it was. And the consensus was, passing the, uh, the, the, the jokes from our Canadian friends, um, that, uh, that I wasn't being too picky and that if I was going to spend that kind of money for a plane, it shouldn't have flaws in the finish on a new plane. So I, I uh, was told that I should contact... A couple of different people within the company and uh, and the last one being Robin Lee and of course you recognize that last name from Lee Valley um, and he owns the two companies Lee Valley and um, and Veritas so I wrote him a letter explaining the situation and um, he seemed rightly uh, shocked at, at the situation and and suggested that uh, I talk to uh, uh, Paul Roach, who's the head of engineering, and uh, Randy Conrad, who's the VP of manufacturing and engineering, and they and they set up a meeting. Um, now I'm I'm missing one part of that story because uh, Randy called me up. Randy was the person I was dealing with on that second batch, or on the third rather, um, and he he called me up and said, "Well, I've looked at all of the ones downstairs. We have some there in stock." And I've looked at them, and they all have the same problem. So that entire batch apparently has that problem. Um, so he he did tell me that he had one that he thought had a lesser of the issue, and that he could send that to me if I liked. And I and at that point is when I said, you know what, I I, I really don't want to buy a second unless I'm buying a, a a second something that's marked second, and I and the price should be lowered. Uh, due to that, but that wasn't what they were suggesting. They were suggesting that I, I, I should just accept it. And uh, and the reasoning behind it was that it did not the issue did not interfere with the function of the plane, unless the plane's function was to be aesthetic. Uh, but the true function of that plane is to slice beautifully through wood and uh, and do a good job and it did do a good job it was just that right on top of it as you can see in the pictures that i'm gonna put in the video there were these major flaws that stood right out and i felt, I felt that if i were paying full price for a, a plane it shouldn't have those flaws so uh, robin lee set up a, a, f a phone call between myself randy conrad and paul roach and and we talked about the issues of the plane and we had a really nice talk it was very very uh, I think fruitful f 
for uh, uh, Veritas, and I gave them my suggestions on a, a way to clamp it differently so that it wouldn't cause those damages. And, um, and they explained to me that they can't really discuss too much about their clamping process because that's private to the company, and I understand that completely. They're, they're well within their uh, not only rights, but uh, their, their, their guarded uh, secrets for their company that they should not share that with me. But I gave them my opinions. We had a really nice talk. Um, and and, uh, and uh, I think it was Randy. Um, that said to me that if if I wanted because I did like the plane he would he could see that I could get a second at the end of the year when they do their seconds um, that that I would be able to buy a second from them but that my money would be refunded and 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 he seemed a little surprised because this meeting was uh, I mean I returned the planes on April 9th of 2021. Remember, I bought them in October. I returned them in April of 2021. And uh, May 11th, uh, 32 days later, we had this meeting. Uh, six and a half months after I'd ordered the plane originally. And, um, and I hadn't received my refund for it. So, uh, so they had the planes. Uh, I didn't have my money back. And I, I'm telling you this uh, not, not as a way of complaining, but... As a as a way of communicating with people that follow me and uh, and and I'd like to hear from you guys and find out how many of you that own that shooting plane have similar issues with the plane and just accept it because the plane is either is sh shoots so well or uh, because they don't care about it or any of you noted it and just didn't do anything about it I'd like to know that um, really for the sake of Veritas so they can know. How many people are really happy with this plane? Uh, I've, and I've told them this, I bought from Veritas for over 25, maybe 30 years. I have several tools of theirs in the tool room. Uh, I've always been happy with their work. This is the first time I've ever received something from them that I consider to be a second and be sold as a, as a first rate tool. <coughs> so. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys uh, uh, that have ordered that plane and, and to find out if that flaw in the top of it just goes all the way throughout their whole history of that plane or whether it's just this single run during COVID. I think that would be useful to know. Um, as you can see here, uh, I have uh, several planes, the ones that I did the comparison with. Another option of five and a half that some people use as a shooting plane. And uh, since my discussions with Veritas, oh, I should add, I should add that the money was refunded after my second call back to uh, uh, Randy and, uh, and he expedited that refund and got it through very quickly. So, so they were very responsive to all of the things except um, I guess I was either expecting to be able to keep one of those planes at the second rate, you know, the, as, a, as a second, um, or some offer for my time and, uh, and, uh, and, and that they held my money for so long and, and, uh, and, and uh, my patience, I thought there would be maybe some reward. Um, the only reward, I guess, was that I got to use it in that video and, uh, and find that out. Uh, but, um, I don't know. I think that, uh, there could have been, could have been something more. Um, that being said, I'm going to do a video now about the replacement that I've gotten. And, and don't get me wrong. I will still order the Veritas shooting plane when they've solved that issue. I will be, uh, if they let me know, I will be the first one to order it. Um, because I think it's an extremely well-designed, really, really nice plane. And I have nothing bad to say about them or their plane or their engineering. But that being said, as I talked to their engineers, um, they came at it from the thought processes of an engineer and not necessarily of an aesthetic art designer uh, and, uh, and somebody who concerns themselves with those aesthetic issues as far as the planes are concerned. Nothing wrong with that. 
Um, but it is a concern for me because my background is in art direction and my background is in, uh, in, in, uh, in the appearance of things as well as the functionality. So anyway, that's the story. Um, they've got their planes. I've got my money back and, uh, I'm, I'm disappointed, but I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not, uh, sold against Veritas at all. I, I hope that they'll come back and really push the quality of their work on that and get rid of those issues. Um, they could uh, very well do an intentional raised surface on that plane that they could clamp to and not mess up their finish, or they could distribute the pressure from that uh, whatever it is that they're holding that plane down with so that it doesn't compress the finish, or they could use magnetic holders. There are all sorts of other ways to deal with the issue and not damage the finish. And um, Stanley's been doing it for I don't know how long. But um, I went ahead and uh, purchased this, uh, this Stanley uh, 51, and that's what I'm gonna do a video on. I built a shooting board for it. It works really beautifully. I would have done the same for the Veritas, but um, we know that story. But I felt like I needed to share it with you guys because uh, everyone that I talked to on Plain Talk and on uh, Bench Talk um, said that uh, other people should beware. And like I say, I would really like to hear from you guys uh, who have bought the same plane, whether or not it has the same issue or not. They uh, uh, assured me that this was not just a COVID thing with the difference in employees or something like that. Or, and, and I thought maybe, maybe it was just that they had done the whole run, the whole run had that issue, and they didn't want to lose too much money on, on, on it, so they were distributing it anyway as a first-rate uh, product. I, I don't know. I'm not making a judgment on that, and, uh, and I'm, I'm not going to spend my life whining about it. I bought a plane that I think does the job very well. I will buy that back from them uh, at any time. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day and and stick around. I'm going to do a video on the shooting board that I made for this plane. And maybe I'll add some other things. Thanks for watching.